<gasps> hi, hello. Welcome on in. If there's anyone new here, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Jess or Fawn. I go by Fawn and Games in most places online. Uh, I do all sorts of cute, comfy, cozy, queer, chaotic as heck content. Uh, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on twitch.tv slash Fawn and Games. And, uh, and then I do bonus streams sometimes when I feel like it, usually Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, I've also been doing a lot more co-working lately. <laughs> Everyone's saying hello. Hello, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> and uh, we're doing this one special today. We're doing it live on Twitch, but we're also going to share it over on YouTube because we're checking out a new game today. It's a mix of a game and a productivity tool. And if I can be quite honest, I have been playing the heck out of this demo. It is the game is available for purchase today. Uh, Monday, April the 8th on Steam, but there's also a demo so you can go check it out for free for free dollars uh, right now also over on Steam. I'll put a link down below in the descriptions with all the details. So please do feel free to check that out. This is not sponsored, but they did send me the key. So just to be transparent, I like to communicate those sorts of things. And honestly, I wanted to do it because I love it. It has been a, a, such a super good productivity tool in my life. So we'll be taking a few minutes to go in and do the introduction. You can see there's a little like welcome right on the screen. Um, also, if anyone in chat wants to have the details at any point, you can literally put exclamation point spirit city and that will get you the link and the information. Um, but yeah, we're going to look at some of the details first of what what this game is. So what is this? I say game, it's literally a little bit of everything. It's so interesting. So this is Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions is the full name of the game. And it is a gamified focus tool, which is why I love it. And it works for me. Uh, it has, it's set to soothing lo-fi soundtracks. So you literally could just put this up in the background and have the music going. The music is absolutely lovely and fantastic. But then it also has the options to use things like a to-do list and a Pomodoro style timer, which if you're not familiar with, it is a timer that you can set to different portions of time, but it kind of encourages you to do anywhere from, you know, 20 minutes to an hour of work and then take a five to 10 minute break. Um, and it's a really good cycle system of getting work done, but also like letting your brain take a little break, which can help a lot with with productivity and with getting stuff done. Um, so in Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions, you get to discover and collect spirits, customize your cozy virtual space, and facilitate your real life tasks with a collection of handy features designed to improve concentration and ease stress. So um, in the demo, I had already unlocked all the demo characters possible. I think there's four in the demo you can unlock. Um, and I had tried a bunch of the different spaces, but you hadn't in the demo, you hadn't been able yet to actually decorate your surroundings. <laughs> um, so that's a new feature of the full game. So I'm excited to check that out along with all the new, the new spirits, the new creatures. Um, so let's see the key features. As I said, there's listen to the lovely curated catalog of chill lo-fi beats with themed playlists for every mood and occasion. Stay organized using integrated productivity tools, including a to-do list, uh, a Pomodoro timer, habit tracker and journal. Um, so a lot of options there for those of you that love journaling and hint nudge nudge. Um, <laughs> uh, create your own avatar. So I actually had one before. I'm curious to see how similar or different I might make the avatar this time because I already had a little a little guy who I really liked. Um, the the avatars and the outfits and everything are very cute. The whole thing is really, really adorable. Um, Spruce up your room. As I said, this is a new this is a new one. So I'm really excited to check that out with ideal cozy retreats, swapping between different wallpapers, flooring, furniture and wall decor. I know for a fact I saw um, like a green wall, like a plant wall in the that was not in the demo that is now in the full game. So, of course, I'm going to stick plants all over my walls. I'm very excited for that. Uh, immerse yourself in interactive soundscapes that change the world in a real time in real time to suit your preferred vibe from the pitter patter of rain on the window to the crackling of a toasty fireplace. Um, so those are really, really cute because once again, in the game, you can kind of fiddle with them and you can set them to either be just the sound 
So you can set them to actually kind of occur within the game and within the environment and within the space. So uh, you can either set it so you just hear the rain or you can actually make it raining outside your window, which is super cute. Same with like the fireplace. You can make just the crackling sound or you can make the fireplace actually go. You can make sound effects for like the record player kind of playing and have the record player actually playing or you can just have the sounds. So it's really cute. Um, decipher hints to lure curious spirits out into the open with the right combination of game settings um, and unlock them with your as your future companions. So those are super duper cute and it is fun to try and check it out. So, you know, it'll it'll be like, oh, you know, this creature loves chilling on a rainy day or like I don't give you like a little hint and then you're like, oh, OK, I'm going to try being in this space, you know, instead of being at my desk, I'm going to do some work over at like the more cozy space and make sure it's raining outside. And then if you're lucky, the little spirit will show up. It's very cute. You earn XP and level up over time and by using the game's features to the fullest. So I haven't even turned the full game on fully. We're still in the like the tutorial section. And then I don't know if you can see, but over in the the top left of the screen, I'm accidentally already at level two. <laughs> because I've had this up and running while I prepared for stream. And I think I've had this game running already for like two hours or something in the background. So I've already unlocked the level accidentally passively. <laughs> so that that happened. Um, but I think mostly you get it by doing stuff and unlocking. I think leveling up unlocks more cosmetics and customizations and stuff like that. So it's really cute. Uh, you can, uh, here's a good feature that I like as a streamer and content creator, stream your sessions with others and th thanks to the game's fully stream friendly music library, uh, library, 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 <laughs> library, library, perfect for co-working streams or as background on Twitch or YouTube. It specifically mentions Twitch and YouTube. Hi Twitch, hi YouTube. <laughs> I love that. Expand your song catalog with the built-in web player, providing even more options for musically adventurous. Library. <laughs> exactly, GG. Hi, Drave. Um, <laughs> enhance your everyday activities with Spirit City Lo-Fi. Offers a pleasing and distraction-free space. So it's that's really good. So I knew a lot of this already, but I didn't know like some of the details about uh, the leveling up is new that wasn't in the demo and the decorating the house is new that wasn't in the demo so we're going to be experiencing those together for the first time ever Woo, stream friendly no copyright strikes hell yeah which is really really good because if anyone else like streams out there if you're thinking of streaming or picking up streaming or you know like or you do stream whatever sometimes there's music that you like that is good on one platform and not the other and that can be so frustrating. That can be so frustrating when you're trying to like make stuff and you know, it's fine on Twitch, but not on YouTube or vice versa. So I like that they specify this. I do like that they're like, you know, very specifically like, hey, this is good for everything. Also, I'm gonna move this window over a little bit. Okay, let's try that. All right. Okay. Are we ready? Are we ready to start checking stuff out? <laughs> Drave. <laughs> Let's go, lesbians! Let's, Let's go, go lesbians. lesbians! It's time to check this out. I feel like YouTube is more strict. Yeah, I think so too, Allie. I think... I mean, I can only... I don't know. Hi, everyone. Welcome. I'm not <laughs> a professional or an expert. Uh, but my experience is that um, Twitch will cut... Like, sound will cut music just as much as, as YouTube but YouTube will actually make you not share your content. So the difference in my experience is that sometimes I'll go back and see a VOD on Twitch, one of my VODs, and a section of it has been like, the audio has been turned off, um, but it'll still be allowed to exist and play and like work. It's just, there will be no audio and that like one little blip. It's like just right here, no audio. Uh, whereas on YouTube, it'll give me a warning that I can't post the video at all. So I don't know, it's, it's different. Uh, YouTube has been more strict ever since they, uh, oh, okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, Dre, we were talking about the eclipse earlier. For anyone that's, uh, watching this later, this video is being recorded. This game, uh, has come out. It's just out today, literally this morning. And today, when I say today, that is Monday, October the 8th, the day of the eclipse. 
So it's not gonna be a super long stream today because I gotta go safely, safely with protection. Everyone use protection. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Did I say October? April. Did I say October? April. It's April. Oh my God. Hi everyone. It's Monday, April the 8th. This is why I need productivity tools. This is why I need help for my Nero spicy brain that makes up words. October. It's October. Um, gonna go safely and with protection look at the sun later. <laughs> what if it was October? That would be nice. No, unless it was last, unless we went backwards. I don't want to go ahead. <laughs> time is already, time is already too tricky and stinky. Please no, I can't take another winter again. Yeah, we haven't even had summer yet. I need summer. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna wait. October can wait. It's April. Hi everyone. It's April. O'Neill. Wait, no, that's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's April the 8th. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's get into it. All right. <laughs> let's, let's start checking this game out and then actually getting some work done. Um, so welcome to Spirit City. I'm Lenny. I'll be your guide here. It's nice to meet you. Let's take a moment to get you settled in as I guide you through the things you can do around here. Place the music, add sound. So right down here at the bottom, it's literally showing off uh, lo-fi beats for spiritographers only. This song is called Spirits. That's so cute. <laughs> this is the audio section where you control your music, choose from different curated lo-fi playlists, and even add different background sounds to create your perfect soundscape. So on the left here, where it says music, that's where you can choose the different lo-fi beats music and on the sounds, that's the soundscapes. So like the rain effects, the fireplace, that kind of stuff. This is your productivity corner. Creates a to-do list to get uh, to work and a timer useful to remind yourself to take breaks. There are tools to track your habits and for journaling too. So down here at the bottom, I think you can see it. it's literally shaking right now. Currently says no to-do list no active timer 1109 that part's correct uh and then there's a little check mark which is the to do there is a little apple <laughs> which is the timer or i guess pomodoro is that palm is apple it looks like a little tomato though <laughs> little pomodoro timer or a little apple timer habits with a little check mark and then a little journal so those are the different tools down here um, select a spot in an activity. So from here, you can select where to hang out in the room and what activity you want to do, studying, reading, or even taking a nap. Okay, once again, Pomodoro would be a tomato. That's what, okay. <laughs> part of it makes me think of like apple and part of it makes me think of tomato. <laughs> it's for sure a tomato. Okay, I believe you because I trust you wholeheartedly and completely. <laughs> Um, so studying, reading, those sorts of things were already activities in the demo. The fact that they've added taking a nap, they've added taking a nap. So you can like body double co-work, co-product, be productive, taking a nap, a productive nap. Because, hey, rest is productive. I love that they added that. That is such a beautiful, like, what a, what a lovely sentiment. Like, let's, let's take a healthy and productive nap. So that's down here in activities. <laughs> Hi, son. Welcome in. Um, set the time of day. Okay, so bottom left is activity. And the next one up is lighting. Set the time of day to your liking. Whether you're an early bird or a night owl, here you can choose different times of day that affect the lighting and the ambiance of the room. Uh, the middle one is spirit decks. This is your spiritographer's books. The spirit, the spirit decks. This is where you will find... <laughs> this is where you will find your trusty spiritographer book, the spirit decks. Inside you will record all your findings about the different spirits you encounter. It's Italian for tomato. Yeah, I was thinking that cause like, pom like, it's like Pomodoro sauce. Like it's literally, you're right. And I'm silly. I went to the French, French word for apple palm in my head. Pomodoro. <laughs> I went the wrong, I went the wrong romance language. <laughs> this is your spiritographer's book, The Spirit Decks. Using different sounds, activities, and lighting will lure spirits to reveal themselves. 
This icon glows if a spirit is being lured and it will notify you when a spirit has been discovered. It can take some time. Be patient. They will show up eventually. Um, if you're like me, you out, you try and game the system. Y'all, hey chat, are you min-maxing or <laughs> am I playing games wrong? <laughs> I love a gamified tool like this. A gamified tool like this helps me, but also sometimes I do get a little bit, a little bit hyper focused on trying to unlock all the things, on trying to get all of the achievos. I'm a little bit of an achievement hunter. Um, so sometimes <laughs> I'll spend a little too much time trying to unlock all the things, but this is predominantly you know, a work tool, but it's also a game. It's also something that like you're getting used things however they work for you for the most part just doing things just vibing just trying the different styles of like work and co-work and um you know the different the different settings of like it says sounds activity lighting those will automatically find you the spirits once you've been in for a little bit you might be like hmm, 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 who haven't i unlocked yet <laughs> because that's what i do like hmm, 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 who haven't i unlocked yet and it'll guide kind of your activity selection, which is which is still a really fun and cute thing to do. And I, I really like it. <laughs> up there is your ranking as a, oh, up here. That's what I was saying, up here. Oh, look at that. Oh, 100 XP for a daily login, 100 XP for a daily task done, and 100 XP for a daily timer. Cute. You also earn XP every minute and by discovering spirits. Okay, cute, cute, cute. Okay, so we're a little, we're already a little ways into filling up uh, the spirit bar. Up there is your ranking as a spiritographer. You will earn experiences as you spend time here, as well as using the various productivity tools. Discovering a new spirit will also give you a big experience XP boost. Uh, I've been a self-proclaimed achievement lady of the night. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Allie. That's true. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It makes total sense. And also like, cause in French, um, potato is also pomme de terre. There's probably a lot of things in that kind of like, in that kind of little place. <laughs> um, here's your ranking. When you level up, when you level up, I'll reward you with spirit credits or SC that you can use to unlock new customization items as well as rare spirits will only show up in your spiritographer level is high enough. Okay, all right. So there's some you literally can't get until later. That makes sense. Cool. <laughs> so I shouldn't try and outgame the game immediately. Maybe later. <laughs> customize your room. This space is all yours. You can customize the room to your liking. You can also exchange your spirit credits or SC here to unlock more options. Okay, and that's up in the decor. Um, customize your appearance, open the wardrobe and be whoever you want to be. You can also select a different spirit companion. Once you discover one, uh, your spirit collection or your spirit credits can be used here to unlock even more options. So wardrobe and then enjoy your time in Spirit City. All right. Now with enough explanation, why not start customizing your appearance <gasps> and an achievement, got an achievement, got an achievo. Okay. So here's a little. The little avatars they're very 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 freaking cute um and we love to see like they're not like you just make the body however you want the body to kind of be i love i love it i might go a little more you know normally i don't go for a more square body but i might go for a more square body today oh victory yeah i hope i hope you get that soon i might go for a little more of a square body than i usually do Because normally I go, my other character is the curvy body. This one I might go a little more square. We'll go like right in the middle here, kind of. Um, And then we have different little, I love the look. I love that like, there's such a variety of looks. And it's like, it's Spirit City. So uh, whatever you're making, they look they, like there's all different. Okay, I'm such a, hi everyone. If you can't see my antlers, <laughs> I'm a huge sucker for like horns and antlers and stuff like that. So I absolutely freaking love the the styles and the looks and the vibe. I kind of want to go, do I want to go pink or purple? I'm usually, 
I'm usually a purple gay. But maybe I'll go with more of like a pinky tone. Um. Let's see. Which faces? Probably gonna go with a little, a little more, a little more on the cheeks. <gasps> buns! Oh, I like buns. <laughs> but I tend to go, hi, I tend to go with an undercut. Undercut is very gender. <laughs> oh, I love the, the head scarves. And I like that that's a starting, that's a starting place, not, not something you have to unlock later. Oh, maybe I'll go with a little bit more. Oh, I kind of like this little more like messy, messy hair, this little like, just like short chop top. I'm gonna call it a chop top. <laughs> it's not, not to be confused with a crop top. It's a chop top, you know, when you're kind of like, no, you're good, Steph. You're good, you're good, you're good. Yeah, it's it's always, I no, re representation is so, so important. Having different things is important. And you can see where they've, um, they've put in, like I said, I think it's really nice because you're not choosing a gender body, right? You're choosing like, do you want like um, curves kind of in more of an hourglass shape? Do you want more of a triangle like shoulder heavy? And then there's like skinny going to like bigger, but there's always, Seeing effort put in is great. Having even, wanting even more and having even more is never a problem. I think we, it's very, very valid to want more because you still want to be like seen and felt and you want to see yourself in games and you want to have different options. And I think more options is never bad. Never bad, never bad. Just like more accessibility tools, never bad, you know? Even if it's something that you don't need, someone someone might need it. Someone might want that different representation. Someone might want that different tool. Someone might want like more is always better. And it's not always possible immediately. It's I think it's really nice when devs communicate, you know, what they already have versus what else they want to do. Um, and it's definitely it's different. In my mind, it's there's a big difference between, you know, a triple A company putting out a game and not already having a lot of options because there's there's no excuse when you have a multi, you know, multi office, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of staff. You have the tools, you have the means to do everything. It's a little different when it's a small game, it's an indie game. Um, then I want to see them doing their best, but I also understand if, you know, there's more to come later. That said, I do think accessibility and representation should never be on the back burner. It should be a starting point. It should be, you know, where things start. Um, but then like building from there and adding even more is always ideal. I know the floof is really, really good. It's very, very good. I really like it too. Where were we? We were in here. I like the movement. It's cute because it's still very, um, it is cartoony. It's not an exact kind of look or feel, but it's like it's very in vibe. It's very uh, in spirit with the with the look of the game, you know, like. Oh, my God, I, I the little the little curl at the top killing me. I love it. Oh, my God. This is I think this is the haircut. I almost always go with. I think it's the haircut I gave my other character in this game, which is why, once again, I think I'm going to go with a different haircut. It's because I almost always go with that kind of exact look. I like that the buns move. Like, it's so cute. There's like good movement. OK, I think I'm going to go with one of these. It's a little it's <laughs> it's still really gay, but in a, a way that's a little different from what I normally <laughs> My usual flavor of gay it's a little bit different from my usual flavor of gay this is a little bit different building a character although i guess if i'm building a character that's not me then i could go very different i am it's not me 
I'm not, I'm not this cool little guy, even if I may want to be. Maybe I'll make someone else. I think I'm gonna go with the short hair. I don't know. It's what I always feel. <laughs> it's where, it's where my heart sings its happy song, you know? Okay, let's see. Your physics are very pleasing. Yeah, I love the floof. Oh, they, yeah, because they both started uh, and then they branch, include the similar branches of Latin and Roman, Italian, French, and Spanish. Yeah, exactly. So and that's what I was saying. Like, I was like, I think there's a lot. And I mix those up a lot, too. I mix them up together, you know? I was just too tired to write out a coherent thought. No, I get you. I get you. <laughs> it's not good. It all makes sense. I also like how the there's custom color options here. So I'm just deciding on... I was just about to say that I really like the kind of like... The color mix on the hair. Like the fact that it's like blue going into pink. It's purple going into pink. It's blue going into green. I like these little color mixes. I kind of like the purple with um, orange on the end. There's something really cute about that. So... <laughs> Hmm. But I wonder, do you think we can make our own custom color? Do you think we could make, let's see if we can make like a custom. Ooh. I wonder if I can make a custom ombre though. I'm kind of feeling green. I've been feeling, you know, sometimes you're feeling blue. Um, and I'm kind of feeling green. Hi Mary D, welcome in. <laughs> Let's see. Oh no, if you do if you do a custom color, it's only one color, not ombre. Hmm. I don't know, I kinda I'm feeling this. I think I'm gonna go with this. This is what I'm feeling. Alright. <gasps> Look at all the different Okay, we're in the good part. We're in the good part. We're in the horny section. It's time for horns. Horns and antlers. <gasps> oh no. This one with the little chop? Oh no. There's little ears. Oh, the ears are very cute gotta have antlers though oh i kind of like these going backwards antlers they're a little different <gasps> oh i don't know what do y'all think it's between these ones and these ones. i think i'm gonna go with these little backwards one they're very cute normally okay this is these are actually i feel like these are the closest to the ones i wear <laughs> thank you steph for the reminder oh to do a little self-care have a little stretch, have a little drink. All right. Um, these are, yeah, cause these are simple and cute little antlers. I like these ones cause they're big chonky antlers. Like these, I like these ones. I feel like sometimes you don't see enough big chonky antlers. So I like these ones, but then I also like these ones that stick straight back. Of course, please take care. Thank you so much. Like I said, everyone coming in. Um, if you have to raid and run, that's no worries. Feel free to hit that follow button. Come hang out another time. We're always doing lots of fun stuff here. Um, but also, you know, just take care of yourselves. You can always go grab a drink, grab a snack, take your potions for the day, do a little stretch, and then come back a little later if you need to. It's all Gouda cheese and crackers. Oh, and you can change the colors of your antlers. Mm. Hello. Uh, Frostlass, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Yeah, I think I want these little backwards ones. They're very cute. Hi, welcome in. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing okay. Oh, did you come in on the raid? Welcome, welcome on in. We are just designing our character for Spirit City Lo-Fi today. If anyone wants some details on this wonderful new game, you can just put exclamation point Spirit City, all one word, into the chat. Yes. Oh, nice. Well, welcome in. Happy to have you. Yeah, one of the tasks I'm probably going to do today is writing my reps. So normally on Mondays, I do what is called a zap, which is like a community supported like everyone working together um to like call and write emails and like you know communicate their social their support and everything like that so normally on mondays i do a zap and i don't start stream until after i do my local community zap you can see if your community has one as well 
But since I'm going to be missing that today because of streaming early and because of the eclipse, um, I'm probably going to make one of my tasks on the to do list today to do some emails to my reps, to my local reps. And with um, updated information, I'm very lucky that I have found local resources that update their information literally every day. Literally every day they they have like a document that they share with the community and they update it every day. So every day I have a little bit of new information um, and, you know, new suggestions on what to write so that it, making it as easy as possible because it can be exhausting, right? It can be absolutely exhausting to be writing and calling and doing stuff like all the time. And sometimes you need to take a break and you need to step back and you need to take care of yourself. But having resources that help you get back in as easily as possible are, is also really great, so highly recommend finding your own local resources um we have a few if you have anyone wants put exclamation point palestine in the chat we have a few suggestions a few links and things like that um to help out i do think i'm going to stick with these little antlers i like them the best also someone's been showing my support um it's been very enlightening to see much stronger that's good yeah i see i see it both ways i see how it can be like a little bit tiring to be like you know, this isn't new, but it's also good to have so many eyes opened, right? So I see it both. I totally get feeling a number of different ways about it. I definitely. Ooh, what about minty? Like, what about minty blue? This is definitely not my usual vibe, but I like. I mean, the antlers are. Let's not lie. <laughs> it's slightly off. It's slightly askew. It's like parallel or perpendicular <laughs> to my usual vibe not exactly the same I like the pink okay so we have two votes for pink okay let's do pink Ooh, eyebrows <laughs> Ooh, eyebrows Ooh. <laughs> oh big fuzzy eyebrows or like with the dash cut in them eyebrows The big fuzzy eyebrows feel very like um, anime demon kind of character to me. They're interesting or like old dragon or like. Okay. Ooh, the purple. I, okay, the eyebrows, a completely different color from anything else. Don't match the hair. Don't match the antlers. Just completely different color. What a vibe. I like that. <laughs> I surprisingly like the brown, actually. I'm I'm surprised. I've surprised myself. I think the brown actually kind of goes with the uh, green of the hair. The red brown. But I also like the purple. Yeah, I might go with this purple because I, I haven't done any purple yet, and that's very un me very not me we'll go with some purple now we'll add the purple now before it's too late hi sphinx welcome in how you doing <gasps> magic eyes okay but what what if magic eyes though like a little star in it <laughs> Ooh, the multicolor. oh the multicolor star eyes is very good they're a little bit... I'm feeling a little bit of a ways about them though. Uh, they're very femme. They're very femme coded. Oh, cat eyes. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Sorry, this... <laughs> This boy is a problem. This boy is a problem. This boy is asking you for your homework to copy off of. Cause he didn't do his own homework. Like this guy is just like casually like, can I look off your test? Like this guy, <laughs> I can't do this one, but it makes me laugh. <laughs> These eyeballs, they have, they tell, they tell me something. <laughs> yeah yeah stuff like there's there's the feelings i have 
versus like, I might just go, like, I want to have cute, magical without feeling. <sighs> the problem is I love these eyes. But the problem is I I get misgendered so often that sometimes I see something like this and I feel a certain way. I feel like this look I give someone when I'm not amused. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. No, I get you, Steph. I get you. It's the sort of thing where I'm like, I want to have this and not feel bad about it because it shouldn't be that, you know, looking a certain way makes me automatically, you know, attributed a certain way. Like, but unfortunately, the the way I feel about it is like, oh, no, I know how I will. I, I this is charged with a certain energy that's going to get me a certain feedback that's going to make me feel bad. And that's just like, you know, a reaction I have. And so unfortunately, I'll look at so like it's the same way like I have so much like there's there's some like really cute clothes I have where I'm like ooh I want to wear this but I know going out how I'm going to be treated <laughs> so I'm not going to wear this um so I'm I, I'm feeling a certain way about these eyeballs unfortunately I want them but I might go with I might just go with these ones honestly that way I still have the cute pink and green it's cute because the green kind of makes me think of uh, the green of our hair, but the pink makes me think of the pink of our antlers. It actually kind of like brings it together a little bit, which I like. So I might do that. Okay. And then lippies. Oh my God. Is this, is it just me or is this like the forever pout? The like about to be kissed always. <laughs> oh my God, the little gremlin. Oh, what if gremlin mouth though? This is very gremlin. <laughs> Put on the other eyes with the pout. Yeah. <laughs> Which one was it? This one? <laughs> oh no, now I want, now I want this. This might be the face. This might be the face. That's so good. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> this F boy look. I know. <laughs> oh, it looks sleepy. <laughs> I don't know. I do like it. It's a little bit. It's a little bit cat. It's a little bit gremlin. It's a little bit chaos. It's a little bit EP. A little bit eepy sleepy chaos gremlin, which I kind of like actually. I might go with this. It's very funny. They look like they're doing a TikTok face. Yeah. Oh my god, I like it. Mm, no, I'm okay. I'm okay without facial hair. Okay, so that's it for face and body. <gasps> Cute. Oh, you can, and then, okay, and then here's things where you can start with and then add if you want. Little headphones, little headphone action. Hat? Beanie? No. I don't think so. I think I'm gonna go with... I'm gonna go with, like, I like these headphones. Little constellation stars on them. Although, normally I would go this kind of pink. For this character, I might go with this. This color, this one. The more like soft, lavender violetish kind of color. It's very cute. I'm fucking adorable, me. <laughs> glasses. Oh my god, these glasses. These glasses are amazing. Me. <laughs> The glasses changed the vibe a little. I kind of like these glasses. I, I, IRL, I would never wear these glasses. Hi, Wolf Tracks, welcome in. IRL, I would never wear these glasses, but I kind of like the vibe of them with this, with this face we've made.
real thing. These like more, these more plastic frames. Or the round ones, hmm. It's white, round, or black plastic. Round purple, oh, the round ones in purple, these ones? Yeah, yeah. That's very good. That's a good call. Okay. Um, clothing. Clothing. Now we can get some cloth on. <gasps> this, oh my God, this little mushroom shirt is so cute. I also really like this trans pride colored shirt. This little rainbow one. So my issue here is that I love a comfy sweater. So part of me wants just like the comfy sweater. I also am a sucker for the one shoulder. <laughs> but then I also really like this little mushroom top. <laughs> yeah, like I love, especially cause like what we're doing is we're like being cozy. If I'm around the house, I'm wearing something like big and plush and cozy. You know, I'm being chill. Oh, I like these little cardigan sweaters. Oh no, that's actually really cute. I actually like this. Oh, I like this sweater on them. <laughs> uh, but I also really like, it's between the mushroom top. I think this character might be wearing this sweater, actually. Uh, looks like someone scooped out your essence and stuck it in the stream. Looks at the hoodie behind him and says, no idea what you're talking about, Fawn. <laughs> oh no, I just feel like it suits them. Uh. If it's me, it was this, but this isn't me. So maybe it's not this. <laughs> Yeah, we can change outfits later. Yeah, absolutely. And there's actually more we- Oh! Look at this trans pride sweater. There's some very cute things down here. Oh, there's- there's a uh, non-binary colors. Trans pride. Hi, Rose! Rose, we have been doing character creation for... What, 45 minutes? Oh, there's lesbian colors. This little panda one's cute too. Okay, let's let's try this for now and then we'll come back. I've been lurking. Thanks for lurking. Go, I appreciate you. Let's go. Let's go, let's go lesbians. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right, Wolf Drags. I can change it later, so I shouldn't stress. Oh, the comfy socks, though. Okay, normally I would wear something like big, big back, but like, I really like the comfy socks. The big socks like that. Oh, I love that. Oh, these have a rainbow stripe, though. <laughs> I don't do personally. I don't do shorts. I can't. I can't bring myself to do shorts. I'm not a shorts person. I wish I was, but I'm not that cool. It doesn't match the sweater though. I really like these big comfy socks, but I don't feel like it matches the sweater. I feel like the big pants match the sweater. Maybe these or these. I can't do shorts either. Skirt? Heck yeah, but not shorts. Interesting. <laughs> oh, there are different socks. Oh no, so cute. <gasps> Even bigger. Oh, okay, look at that. Look at these big socks. These are so good. Oh no. Oh no, I love the big socks. 
Big cozy socks. Oh, I like these. Hi, Rue. Welcome in. <laughs> I have to be a short skate. I'm always too hot. Yeah. Thanks for the honks and the pronks, y'all. I love the big socks. I know. Me too. Maximum flumph. Yeah. It's gotta be the big socks. Just trying to decide which ones. I think I'm going with the pink. Okay. Shoes? No, no shoes. Oh my god, look at these flip-flops and sandals and no shoes in the house. No shoes in my house. No way. No shoes. No shoes. Just socks. No shoes, just socks. This is what I'm gonna go with for now. There we go. Okay. We did appearance. We did clothing. We did spirit companion. Oh, there's different. <gasps> there's different colors of spirit companion. This is new. Ah, oh, Hannah. Hannah, hi. Welcome in. Thank you so much for being here, for hanging out. I hurt your heckin' face so much. Welcome, welcome on in. Thank you so much for the heckin' butts. I super appreciate you. Thank you for 43 whole heckin' months. What the heck? Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're choosing, we're, we're almost done. We've spent like longer than I want to admit in character creator and clothing because the the character creator and the clothing and this is very good. They all have different names. Misu, Rin, Ivy. How you doing? Welcome in. What do y'all think? We get we get more spirits later. I'm gonna go with Misu, I think. So cute. I hate socks, but jail. You know what, Whimsy? I also I like the idea of socks. I like being comfy socks, but after I've been wearing them for a while, I have to kick them off because I get overstimulated. It's funny because like, I can't have, like I'm barefoot right now. <laughs> I, I can't do socks for too long. I get very overstimulated. So I end up like, I get home, I kick off my socks immediately. So I'm the same. Okay. It's one of these two. Oh. They're all very cute, though. I love their little magical tail. Oh, I didn't realize that these ones only have two eyes. They don't have like the little. They don't have the little third eye that the other cat has. Oh my gosh. I'm the opposite way being barefoot over some. Yeah, I can get that. Yeah, th so the thing for me is that I hate feeling things on the floor with my feet. <clears throat> so if I'm barefoot, then I will often sweep the floor. I'll sweep and vacuum the floor multiple times. <laughs> um, Cause I both need to be barefoot, but I need to not trod upon things. <laughs> yeah, no, that's valid. You're so, you're so real. I think I'm gonna go with Rin. Rin's the first one that I absolutely fell in love with. So we're doing Rin. Okay. All right. <gasps> okay, no, we can't also do the decorating right now. We can't also do the decorating right now. We'll have to do this part later. Windows, fireplace. I thought I saw... These are different cushions. It's the desk I'm looking for. Okay, desk. Here it is. Okay, I know that there's... At some point, yes, look, um, can you all see this down in the bottom? The bottom three for the wall. There's one with pink flowers, yellow flowers and blue flowers. <gasps> Have some pee pee. Thank you so much for the pee pee. <laughs> Never winter full gym. Thank you so much for the tier one sub for 67 whole heck and months. What? What? Thank you so much. Welcome in. We're, we are so close to actually getting to the co-working today we're so close to it we've just been character creating for like an hour it's fine how you doing welcome in listen we're here to look at the features of this wonderful game so it's fine we're doing it i love these different flower walls we're eventually gonna get okay <gasps> coffee wait 
Coffee. Okay, done. Done. I'm done. I'm done all the house decorating I'll do for now. Coffee. The option is no coffee on the desk. Coffee on the desk. There has to be coffee on the desk. <gasps> Look at these different drinks later. Look, there's um a pride flag. There's a trans pride flag. There's the arrow ace flag. There's bi pride. There's non-binary and there's lesbian. And we know there's so many more things like they're just speckled throughout the whole game. All these different cute little things. Oh, the teacup with little cookies on it is so cute. Little iced coffees. Oh my gosh. So goddamn cute. <laughs> How are you ever meant to get proactivity done when there's so much customizing? Well, Whimsy, once you do it, yeah. I'm Asher, welcome in. If you put exclamation point Spirit City in the chat, this is Spirit City Lo-Fi. Sorry, Spirit City Lo-Fi Sessions is the full name of the game. You can also just say Spirit City. Um, so exclamation point Spirit City, all one word, will get you the deeds, but it literally is available for purchase as of today. Previously, it has been available as a demo and you can still pick up the demo if you want to try this for yourself firsthand. Um, the demo doesn't have the full game, obviously, uh, but it has a lot of like, it's a good example of how it kind of works. And I actually have been playing the demo now for months and loving it. So thank you so much once again to the devs uh, for sending this my way, because genuinely, genuinely, I love it. So much. I already know. <laughs> I already know I love this game. So, okay, so we're not gonna customize the room right now. There's too much, There's too, we spent too much time decorating the character. We'll, we'll get to that eventually. So we did the wardrobe. We did enough decoration to just put a coffee cup on the desk, which is what's important. Um, ooh, we have some little hints in the spirit desk. Spirit decks. Use the hints to find the hidden spirits. Different sounds, activities, and lighting will lure them out. Once the spirit decks icon is glowing, you're on the right track. Patience is key. It takes some time for them to appear. So we have my desk felt strangely, strangely clean. Oh, I wonder if it's a slime or something cute like that. And then this one is under the bed. So I know which one. I know that one. I have that one in the other in my demo. I have that one already. OK, so let's pick an activity. Morning. Let's start in the morning. Activity. Oh, my God, there's a full view. Acti oh, no, it's just full view. OK, and then there's bed, fireplace, desk, bay window. Where's the bed? Oh, and on the oh, my God, on the bed, there's either with the laptop or laying back. Look at this. Rest is productive. Let's go. Hi, Storm. Hi, Kipted. How y'all doing? Welcome on in. Yeah, it's so good. I, I'm loving it. Oh, my God. Look at how cute our character is. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I'm screaming. I'm trying not to scream in y'all's ears. <gasps> you can oh, look. I didn't realize there were so many different activities. You could be writing by the fireplace or you can be knitting. I wish I was knitting. I wish I knew how to knit. <gasps> something just happened. We just unlocked something. We just unlocked something. I think just by running around and exploring everything. There's writing. There's typing. There's drawing. Look at this. So cute. Oh my god. So the, those are the desk activities. Um, and then the bay window has reading. And look, there's definitely some like arcane. There's definitely some arcane things in that book. I love it. And then there's knitting again. Oh, so goddamn cute. OK, I want to get to work. We're going to do some work because I've just been exploring this game and having a good time with that. Um, but we're going to go to the desk. Oh, maybe it's beeping to tell me I'm, we're close. We're on the way to uncovering something. OK, do I want to be writing? No, I'm going to be typing because I'm at my computer. And I want to, oh, we unlocked something. <gasps> ah! Oh, I was right. It's a slime. It's so cute. Oh, my God. Oh, that was really loud. Sorry. Let me see if I can turn the volume down. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, new spirit discovered. Goopy. Oh, my God. I love them. Have you ever thought to yourself that your desk looked a little cleaner, even though you swore you didn't tidy it? You might have a goopy, and thanks, <laughs> thanks for, to thank for that. This gelatinous spirit travels along, across flat surfaces, sucking up dust, crumbs, and loose objects to digest later. Okay, I need, I need one of these in my real life though. But I need one of these to clean up my desk for me. <laughs> 
Take care, Gigi. Appreciate you. See you later. Thank you so much for your help. Despite their viscous appearance, goopies leave no residue. So many people welcome having one in pl in place of a vacuum. There you go, Allie. <laughs> you need a goopy. <laughs> Uh, so many people welcome having one in their place. Just be careful when you leave your stapler because this ooze, this ooze's diet does not discriminate. Oh, so it eats your things too. So you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful with a goopy. So clean your floors. Do some chores. <laughs> but also eat your things. <laughs> okay, let me find the oh, settings. Okay, audio. I'm gonna turn the SFX down because I think that is what just pinged us so loud. Eh, 69. <laughs> okay, let's try that. So maybe that'll make it so if we find something, it doesn't ping quite so loud. It'll just eat my snack, but it'll eat my snackies. <laughs> but it might be satiated just by like letting it have crumbs and like other stuff like that you bought the game oh kipped it i hope you love it it's so one i really like it so i i hope other folks that check it out enjoy it too okay let's try that oh we reached level three okay let's do our first session we've been going for i've been live for an hour and 40 minutes <laughs> okay let's start a little timer um how long are we thinking let's start small because i don't know how much okay what did i say it's almost noon and i gotta be done by 1 30 so we can do a few sessions so i'm going to add a session on so basically you can use the minute session here to make them like up to 60 minutes down to one um or you just type in what you want and be like 20 minutes and then you can select your break five minutes and then you add however many sessions you want, kind of. Oh, I'm blocking it. Sorry, one second. Let me move. Boop, I'm here now. Ta-da! So right below me <laughs> uh, is the little timer. And you can extend it up to 60 minutes down to one. You can also just type in the specific. Like if I wanted to do exactly 21 minutes of work, you could do that. There's also breaks here. So five minute breaks currently. And then you add however many work sessions you want to do. So we'll do like three and um it'll be 20 minutes five minute break 20 minutes five minute break 20 minutes um and then we can just get started we can get going i was gonna say yeah <laughs> i was in the way sorry we'll do a little let's get started oh my god i love it okay i also want to try the to-do list so i'm gonna start my to-do list okay now i'm blocking the timer it's fine i'll move it in a second i start my to-do list by doing make a to-do list <laughs> um okay we're gonna do emails to reps today we're gonna do that um i have to write a bio for a thing um nope that's not how you spell and we do actually have um, Super Sweet Bot is going in chat. So if anyone wants um, little timers, little reminders, or to get that nice little check mark thing of done, um, that is available for you in chat. All you need to do is write exclamation point task and then your task. And then when you're done, exclamation point done. Um, collect. Okay, that's probably a good starting point. So I'll. That's my little to-do list for now. Let's see what the habits is though. Oh, you can make little habits you want for like every day, like Monday, today's Monday. Oh, cute. Okay, so hang on. Mm, so you could do like potions. <laughs> my daily potions. I have not had mine today, <laughs> so I'll need to remember to do that. Um. I also did not I kind of skipped ahead because we wanted to start stream early today so I didn't do my stretching try and do either stretching or yoga most days um so maybe I'll do that hopefully well this is a good reminder to do these things later what else what's a daily thing you do 
Hmm. I'll think of this later, but at least we have some stuff going. What about... Oh, clearly. Okay, so those are the habits. That's cute. And then there's a journal. Cute. Okay, so those are the tools that are within the... Uh, that are within the game. Okay. All right, and we have the timer going. say to this <laughs> yeah i got an achievement for doing my first thing checking things off <laughs> okay um you know what we haven't done though is we haven't done the sounds Let's see soothing rain cozy fireplace soft rain Ooh, uh, sorry soft vinyl rumbling thunder soothing winds night forest that sounds very cute tasty sizzling keyboard typing birds singing white noise pink noise brown noise oh i'm not familiar with all those different things I'm gonna try. Hmm. I'm gonna try birds or soothing wind. Let's see what that looks like. That's not bad. Okay, and so with the sound effects, you can actually choose keep the sound only, hide visual effects, keep the visual effects only, hide the sound or leave them both so that you have like a cute little visual effect and a little bit of sound. A bit too windy, I'm gonna turn it down. Okay, there, did it. Can I mute the music for a second? Yeah, totes. Oh, we didn't even look at the music playlists. So currently we're on lo-fi beats for spirit, spiritographers. There's chilling with the unknown, uplifting spirit infusion, rainy day, incantations. Oh, there's a web browser. Cute. Can't hear the wind? Let's turn it up. It sounds kind of like beach wind. That's a little bit too, that's, that's full wind. Hehehehe. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny because it does actually get windier outside. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to turn it down to like about here. There we go. I do want to see what this night forest one is, though. We'll check out. We'll check out more sounds. After we get some work done, we can get some work done. And then I'll check out more sounds. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a tornado. <laughs> it was a lot. It went from like cozy it went from like cozy to uh, a little less cozy. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Thanks so much, everyone who's uh, interacted with the socials for all the retweets and everything. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Put it on the task list. Good idea. Check out Night Forest. Good call. I love it. Okay. <laughs> okay.
Thank you for the streak. Welcome in. We're checking out Spirit City Lo Fi and co working today. Welcome in.
we did it we're on break <laughs> so what's a cute little feature is it automatically does all your little work sessions and your breaks for you as long as you set them up like here where i have like big circle little circle big circle little circle those are the big circles are work sessions and the small circles are breaks so they will go ahead and run there's also a button to skip a current timer or pause or stop and restart at any point if you want nice you just finished your perfect little meeting cute hi jupiter welcome in how are you i'm good we spent like an hour and a half if i'm honest building our character well not an hour and a half like an hour <laughs> doing all the pre things stuff. so we only just got into actually trying out the work sessions we're on break right now i'm just gonna step away for a quick quick little break um i will be back in a few minutes and we will continue the co-working please do feel free to use this time as a little reminder to take a little break grab yourself a drink or a snack take your potions uh whatever y'all need to be good and then we will get back to the co-working in just a sec uh, also if you haven't done so and you want to help out the stream in a kind and free way please do feel free to interact with those socials but also no pressure ever just chilling and co-working now and trying out this wonderful new game it is um spirit city uh spirit city lo-fi sessions for anyone that's interested and it just came out on steam today and there's also a demo a free demo you can try so i'll see you in like two minutes
Oh my god, I made it back just in time. <laughs> I made it back just in time for the timer. So, I can drink his snacks and potions. Just by... Just by starting a little work, doing some to-do lists, doing some things, we've got so many points already. Um, daily timer done. Okay, once we get the daily timer done, that'll be done too. Neat! Are we close to unlocking any new spirits? <gasps> we should switch over to Goopy! Can I do that while we're... Would it, is it bad if I mid-task switch to Goopy? <gasps> Goopy, you cutie. Thank you. Aren't they so cute? <laughs> How's the sound for y'all? You can hear the music, the sound effects aren't too loud. I know, Jupiter, it's wild. I know, I'm blown away. We're at a point where I think we're really, 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 we're in a really good place for the first goal. Um, but we're like in the middle between the first goal and the second goal. I think if we, which is too bad because the second goal is so far away. No, we didn't do the night forest yet. Let's do, let's put the night forest on. We did one work sesh and one break. So let's try the night forest. You're right. It's on our, to it's literally on our to-do list. Oh, I can turn this one. I wonder if I have to turn... Oh, oh, I don't know if you can see that. You know what? Let's switch spots. Hang on. I think we might see it better in a different spot. Hang on. <gasps> Look, it makes little like fireflies come out. If I turn it down, it's just a regular nighttime kind of forest scene. But if I turn it up, I'm going to turn it really high just so we can see it. Okay. It glows. I'm going to turn it down a little bit, right? Right there. That's where I think I'm going to keep it. There. That's very cute. Okay, let's work like this. Yeah, Jim, that's why we're not going super long today. That's why I started so early. So we're probably only going to go for about another hour today. We're going to go for about an hour because uh, I'm going to go outside and do the solar eclipse today. Um, oh, but thank you so much, everyone who's hanging out and working with me. Uh, just as a reminder, if you would like to use the bot, there's a bot in the chat for um, getting tasks done. All you got to do is exclamation point task, put your task in, exclamation point done when you're done. And it'll give you a little good job or you can just chill do your own thing it's all good um i get to check something off my to-do list because as ali reminded me we had to check out the night forest boom we did it and i'm gonna go back and be turning my microphone off again for a little bit so we can focus down and i'm gonna continue emailing my reps because that's something i try and take a larger portion of time to do every monday monday in particular He got lucky in a pass by shop that was giving away free glasses. Oh, really? For the eclipse? That's so cool. Is anyone else doing it? Is anyone else doing that today?
break. And I can check another thing off my to-do list. Whoop. I did about a dozen emails to my representatives. Um, reminding them that it's been six months of attack on Palestine and they need to do more. As you do, you know? Sunday marked six months of Israel's unrelenting, unrepentant genocide in Gaza. That's just, that's just the start. That's the start to my email. That's the nice, the nice little, you know, like, just the start. And then there's some, like, there's a link to an article. If you don't believe me, here's, here's an article. <laughs> you know. Yeah, right. Yeah, the, the stuff that, like, a lot of people have pointed out, um, that after already so much harm had been done, then people would start calling for a ceasefire after, like, unrepentant harm for months. <sighs> Anyways, exclamation point Palestine in the chat for resources, if you would like some help to take some action because it's it's not easy but we got to keep taking action so there we go there's also eSIMS if you want to help people stay connected that's a good way um okay so that was we've done two work sessions we are on our second break i've done two tasks I like this. What if, which sounds do y'all like so far? So, so far we did the wind sound and the night forest sound. I like the night forest, the, the fact that it's like magical. It's interesting because um, it's still there at the other times of the day, but I think it's just the most noticeable at night. Like this is evening. Actually, it's pretty cute during the, after during the morning and afternoon too. It's just like little sparkles. That's cute actually. The little morning light with the little sparkles going off. Let's try a different playlist, though. Um, so we've been listening to lo-fi beats for uh, spirit... Uh, would you say spiritographers? Spiritographers? <laughs> try chilling with the unknown. Let's see how this one is. Um, and then uh, what sound should we try? I'm feeling... We can try looking at our spirit decks and see if it has any suggestions. Heard noises under my bed past few mornings. Oh, this is probably like chirping sounds during the day. Hmm. Spiritographer. Hmm. Or do you pronounce the T.O. like Toronto? T.O. <laughs> Um, we haven't sat by- actually, we haven't gone to the bed yet. Let's go to the bed. I've heard strange noises under my bed at night. So maybe we have to do nighttime on the bed? Let's try that. Activity. I'm gonna go to the bed. For anyone that hasn't seen it yet, there's different activities in the different spaces of the room. And what I really love is one of the activities, one of the productive activities that you can do to be productive is resting. Because rest is productive and important. Let's go. Look at this. Maybe maybe I'll have the little resting on. That's very cute. Let's see. What other sounds should we have? Let's do... Let's do the vinyl. Oh, that's so crackly on my ears. Is that anyone else like... Oh, it's so warm and fuzzy. <laughs> hmm. It's another one I'm going to turn down a little bit. <laughs> okay. And then uh, let, let's change it to nighttime, I guess. <gasps> oh, I think we're doing the right. Hi, Knot. Welcome in. We're taking a break from our little co-working. Okay, is there anything else I need to do while we're on break? I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna leave it here and hope for hope that we. I'm gonna leave it here and hope that we get 
We unlock another spirit. Hmm. I also want to look at my. Oh! Sorry. I don't. I turned the sound effects down. I'm not sure why that doesn't count towards the spirit effects. I mean, the sound effects. The spirit effects. The sound effects. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, you can also toggle off the UI. I didn't realize that. So you could actually, like, toggle off the UI. And then it's just, like, a cute scene with the music running. Yo, that's so cozy. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like that should have counted towards being in the... How's that? Oh, I'm gonna try there. So I turned the overall sound down, so hopefully it doesn't suddenly do a scare like last time. Um, I thought it said we got more hints in the spirit decks, but I don't see it yet. We have Lenny, we have Goop. Oh! <gasps> New baby! Sorry, I don't know why the sound effects are so loud. It's a little baby dust bunny. Legend has it that the dust bunnies emerge from the accumulation of dust balls nestled in forgotten corners. Yet in my research, I found a more mundane truth. These tiny spirits have evolved to cloak their fur with the hues of dust, camouflaging them from humans. Under the cover of night, dust bunnies hunt for various bits and bobs. It sounds like a house hippo. Uh, hands up for my house hippos in the chat. <laughs> Fans of house hippos? <laughs> Under the cover of night, dust bunnies hunt for various bits and bobs that have discarded around the bedroom, such as paper clips or buttons. Uh, they treasure their favorite trinkets, becoming quite possessive. Okay, let's switch over to this one now. Okay, hang on. Let's spirit deck. We have to go to wardrobe. Friend. Oh, he's so small! Oh. Is he gonna be on the bed with us? Oh. oh my god, he's so cute. Oh my god, I love I love this baby. <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> so we started with the cat. So you start with the cat, and we've unlocked the slime, who's very, very cute, and now the dust bunny. That's so cute. Okay, we've got two hints, but we'll we'll stay we'll focus on getting stuff done for a little bit before we go on the hunt for another baby. <laughs> before we go on the hunt for another little friend. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I really, really like though that you can like turn toggle everything off and just kind of have it. Like that's so lovely. I can imagine just like leaving this up on the computer in the background with like certain tunes playing or certain like sound effects or it's very cute all right let's see what was on my task list now so i made a to-do list <laughs> i emailed my reps check we checked out the night forest oh, i have to write a bio or collect info what do i want to work on Let's put the timer back up. Okay.
Matt, hello, welcome in. Hello, readers. Hi, Boo Day. How y'all heckin' doing? Welcome, welcome. Um, we are doing some co-working as well as checking out Spirit City Lo-Fi sessions for the first time today. We've already unlocked. Um, we start. You start with one little cute companion. We've unlocked two more, and uh, I switched us over from doing activities at the desk to being on the bed because one of my favorite things about this game is that one of the one of the pro productivity tasks you can do is rest that's right you can be productive by what resting and it's beautiful so that is the activity we're doing well i'm working but our little character is <laughs> our little character is, is is sweeping uh so welcome on in <laughs> Uh nah, sounds fake. I know it feels that way. I know it feels that way, but sometimes rest is what you need to do. Rest is what you need to do. So we're on our third little pomo sesh here. So I'll probably turn off the mic for a few more minutes while we finish this up. We do have the sweet bot working in the chat. If you want to use that to get any tasks done, uh, please do feel free, but also feel free to chill, chat, lurk, whatever you like. Happy to have you. Thank you so much for coming over. Thank you for the shout outs for, for Matt. Uh, Matt is awesome. I adore Matt. Y'all should go check out Matt. Uday, welcome in. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming over. I'll do a proper introduction uh, in just a few minutes when we get on the next break. I'm going to do a little bit more work. Y'all y'all decide what you need to do. Sphinx, don't call me out. <laughs> Hi, Edda. I can do a few more minutes of work and then we're going to take a break. All right. Thank you so much.
Ba -ba -ba Boom! Did it! Got... Got our little plan done. Got a little achievement. Let's go. So that was it. We did three rounds of 20 minutes of work. Um, I mean, what have we done here today? We... We opened up the game. We explored a little bit. We built our character. Uh, we've unlocked two of the spirits. <gasps> We ranked up. Oh, I wonder if this means we have some new clues about some new, how to unlock some new spirits. Hi, Jova, welcome in, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Oh yeah, okay. So in the demo, I had already unlocked this character and this character. These are ones I don't know. <gasps> oh my God, for sure that's knitting. They're so cute. As the light gets low, I seem to keep stepping on bits of loose knitting yarn scattered about. Ooh, cute. Hint, whenever I'm reading, I felt a presence of something over my shoulder. Cute. So these are really cute ones. Love to rank up from the rest. Welcome it, Matt. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Um. <laughs> so I'm going to be uh, signing off for YouTube. But this was your first look at this game and we did some co-working together. I hope that helped you. If you have a favorite spirit from the spirit decks or a favorite sound, let me know in the comments. Um, for anyone that missed it, the, the sounds are so hecking cute. They literally change little sound effects you have in the background, but also the environment. I really, really liked the night forest for anyone that didn't see that one. Um, it looks, it literally lights up. Let's go over to the window so you can really see it. It's so hecking cute. I think this is my favorite one, but there's lots more to see it. I, we haven't even seen them all yet. But it's so cute. Oh, we could be knitting. Oh, look. Knitting in the window at night. Love it. And I still think one of the other things I love about this game. I mean, I love a lot about this and I keep calling it a game. It's a game. It's a productivity tool. It's a lot of things. And I've really liked it. So please do feel free to let me know what your favorite things were, too. But uh, the fact that you can toggle off the UI and just have uh, an interesting soundscape in the background. You could just have your like lo-fi going. You can just like, li like literally like this. You can make your little character and have them like chill and you can rest or work alongside them as you need for the space. And like, this is so lovely. I love this so much. So thank you so much for hanging out. If you're hanging out on YouTube, hey, feel free to hit that subscribe button is the thing I think I'm supposed to say. Leave a comment below, like I said, what your favorite sound effects or little uh, little spirit friends were and uh, would love to see you around. I'm Fawn, Fawn and Games. And you can find me over on twitch.tv slash Fawn and Games every Monday, Wednesday and Friday doing a mix of co-working, cute, comfy, cozy, queer, chaotic content, lots of new games, indie games. But then also, you know, whatever cute, fun stuff we're feeling like Pally and Stardew, probably. Probably. So hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye! Bye!